Well, good morning and welcome to Nine Straight Up. We have kind of a little glare on this today, so let's see if we can fix it. I'm glowing again. So I wanted to jump in today and just say good morning and I hope you're having just an amazing day today. Friday, we gotta be excited. The weekend's here and we're ready to jump in. But my question today is, are you all in? Are you all in in everything you do in life? Good morning, Catherine. Everything you do in life, are you jumping in fully or are you only kind of skimming the top in life? And that can be relationships, your career, your you know hobbies, your family, your everything you can think of, your Bible studies, thinking of that. Are you all in giving it a, your all in a sense or are you just skimming along, just doing what you need to do to keep it going? So today I'm talking about giving it your all, jumping into everything in life and just going in without any reservation, with pure passion and just going after it. So by the end of this, you will have 10 steps to ensure that you go after what you want and you go all in. Now, I wanna go over a story that will help you to see what I'm talking about. Over the 4th of July, we go out to Mackinac generally. Now, Mackinac Island is this little island um, at the top of Michigan, and Michigan's the mitten state, they always call it. But right at the tip top, good morning, Linda, right at the top is um, Mackinac Island, and that is where it's only horse and buggy. It's only bikes. You cannot drive a car on the island except for emergency vehicles. It's lots of fudge, lots of ice cream, lots of sweets, and lots of fun, just um, simplifying life. Well, every 4th of July, they have a stone skipping contest. And the reason I bring that up is because that's how some of us live our lives. We skip along the top instead of jumping in. Now, the thing that I liked this year so much was all the adults were in the stone skipping contest and the littler kids had a chance to do their kerplunk contest. Now think about it, as we go through life, we can skip through like the adults did and jump. Good morning, Dean. We can jump through life or we can jump in like the kids. Good morning, Andy. We can go kerplunk right into the water. The kids give it 100%. Think of a kid running into a playground or diving into something new. They give it 100% in all they do. Where sometimes we as adults are a little bit reserved and we hold back a little instead of jumping in like the kerplunks in life. So because of this, I want to share what life can be about, what how we can give 100% in everything we do. So to start off, Let's start with Tim, 10 steps to your kerplunk in life. Now, first and foremost, get real. Get real in life, what you want to go after, how it is, what you think, what is your path, and go after it 100%. Stop holding back, but go after it. You wanna work on your fitness, your health, your, um, your studies, anything that it is, go 100% and don't hold back, don't allow you know, things that people may say, things that you hear to hold you back. Instead, it's 100%. Number two, step two, be in action. If we are sitting back and just watching the world go by, we're not, in a sense, kerplunking. We're not going 100%. So be in action, get moving, go after it. Always be in action. When we sit down, my grandma used to always say, there's moss going to grow under you. So keep moving towards that goal, towards that huge splash that's coming. Or three, train your thoughts. Your thoughts become your actions. So the things that you think each day, if you don't have belief in yourself, belief that you can do it, then it's not going to happen. So train those thoughts for the things that you want to go after each day. And then number four, focus. Focus on gratitude. Now, everything in life happens for a reason. We all know this. And everything, and everything we do can teach us a lesson if we allow it to. Good morning, Johnny. If we can allow that to, even the deepest hurts, even the biggest celebrations, they all teach us something in life. So allow them to teach you and be grateful for each of them. Now also, each day, 
try to do something new and exciting, whatever it is, but plan something. Don't allow life to happen to you, but instead you plan the life that you want. And then this is an important one, and I know this one is so hard for so many people to do, 20 minutes of quiet time every day. And I know that's super hard to do. 20 minutes of just sitting there, getting to kind of tap into your thoughts. Good morning, Nikki. Tap into your thoughts, tap into what you want that day, your big kerplunk for the day, and tap into who you are. It's hard to do to spend 20 minutes of quiet time, to really sit back and not let the world and the things going around you to pull you off in life, but instead 20 minutes to yourself, just thinking, close your eyes, don't fall asleep, but focus on it. Good morning, Emily. So focus on it. Okay, number seven, if you're ready, let's move on. Pick your goal. Good morning, Bonnie. Um, pick your goal and go for it. Go for it fully instead of holding back. Just go and don't allow fear to, we've got a big plane right going by, but don't allow that fear or anything else to hold you back, but instead focus on that goal and go for it fully. Number eight, this is a biggie, because we live in a world where people judge us, and I'm telling you, people can be brutal with each other. Stop worrying about other, what other people think, what other people think about you. In reality, it's none of your business. What you do and what you go after is your business. If they don't approve of it and that, that's not your business to be in control, to be worrying about their thoughts. So stop worrying. Also, with as I said before, with great change comes great pain. So number eight, learn from the painful things in life. Allow them to help you to grow each day instead of allowing them to kind of, you know, knock you down, be a sucker punch in life. Learn from it. And I know I've had lots of sucker punches and I've allowed them to take me down. And when I kind of wake up from it, I realize that was a lesson and now I'm stronger. So in everything, learn the lesson and keep going. And then also, kerplunk everything in life. And I mean everything. What, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So think about that, how you, your relationships, your spouse, your studies, your, your keeping your home organized, talking with friends, having relationships. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So do it 100%. Don't skimp here and then over here do a little bit more. Do it all 100%. And then also run to the edge of fear. And what that means is run to that point. And I know there's a point that we all hit where we get nervous and we're not sure how we're going to do something. Run to that edge, look around, and bust through it. And bust through it fast. Like I always picture the football um, teams, how they run up to that um, but it, the banners and they run through full force and they're ready to go. Run through that fear that you're worried about. Yes, Linda, the kerplunk. So also run to the edge and then look at it, bust through it. And then number 11, I know I said 10, but let's go for 11. Be that person that others want to be around. Be the person that serves more, that gives more, that loves more all that in life and be the person who will change another's life. I know I have friends who I can spend an hour with them and I feel totally energized, ready to go. And then I have other friends who kind of drag me down, who kind of take the wind out of my sails, so to speak. So figure out who you need to spend time with and then also be that person that people want to spend time with. And then also you have a chance each day when you wake up in the, in the morning, do you wanna be that big um, kerplunk boulder that you pick off the sand and you plunk it in and just envision the kids just dropping it in and the huge splash coming? Or do you just wanna skim the surface of your relationships, of your life, of your goals? You have the choice to do it every day. You get to do it. So as far as the Mackinac, the skimming, the um, rock skipping contest, the adults had 88 skips. I should, not at Mackinac, let me correct that. At Mackinac, they, ha I can't even remember though, to be honest. <laughs> 
but the world record for skips, I should say, is 88, skimming the top. Don't know how you could possibly do that. My nephew had 17 skips, which I thought was wonderful. I generally get two or three. But my beautiful little um, grandnephew, Kyler, he had one major kerplunk, and it was a big splash. So today, figure out what your kerplunk's going to be, how you're going to change your life, how you're going to change this world, and how you're going to stop allowing people to kind of stop you in your tracks and worrying about them. So have a great day, make it a good one, make it a huge kerplunk, and let me know how this is affecting you. How has this changed the way you're gonna look at life? And if you found something valuable from it, please share it out. I'd love to talk to other people about it. So have an amazing day, everyone.